Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Now we are at this screen still. So let's just continue. The game will allow me that. Is. That is a nice house. Okay, we need to go upstairs to wake Carl. Inspect this first, though. Android birds. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why do you want to keep android birds in a cage? I mean, wouldn't they just do what you told them to do? This house reminds me of something from Dishonored. The ostentatiousness here is... Well, yeah. Excessive. This is like the conservatory in Dishonored 2. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. There we go. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. OK. 
Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. To breakfast. It's an android's life. as well. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Oh, sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night, the American ambassador again informed an emergency meeting of the UN that the United States would not accept this annexation under any circumstances. Several American destroyers are reported to be headed for the Barren Sea. You can read these magazines if you want to. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. play chess. With some highly interesting pieces. <clears throat> Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. Well, I know you don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win, so I felt I didn't have many choices. True. <laughs> we humans are complicated. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. He definitely has a gentler master than Kara does.
Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. It's a handy uh, contraption to have when you're a painter. Clean this place, huh? Say that robot arm would be handy to have, even if you uh, didn't need to use a wheelchair. Okay. To clean over there. And finally, over there, it would seem. Nice view. Oh, he seems happy. So, didn't finish the cleaning what's though. What's your verdict, Marcus? quite depressing I'm not a very good judge I, I don't think it's your best work the truth is I have nothing left to say anymore each day that goes by brings me closer to the end I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes Carl but enough about me let's see if you have any talent give it a try Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Find a subject to paint. Paint Carl's painting. <laughs> Paint the statue. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. How do you make a computer do something abstract? Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Let's go with identity. Androids.
Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. We can see the options, but I haven't done this before. But I guess it's because we saw the options. A few other things that we could have done. I think play the piano was one of them. Yeah. Let's move on. Must be Connor again. No androids allowed. Too bad. Edward Dempsey. Got his face turned away. Jimmy Peterson. Criminal record DUI. I have no idea what that means. What's your problem? I guess this is the guy then. Buy me a drink. Yep. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Reason? Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I 
understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Let's buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. <laughs> the look in his face. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the uh, conflict has been resolved and we need to follow him. Josh Douglas for Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Careful, DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. Tell it I hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by, see what was going on. Anything of interest at here? I don't think so. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, I'll stay he's in. But worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. I'll know more when the coroner gets here. More of that red ice stuff. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his hand? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. Up. No fingerprints. Hmm. Be outside if you need. The way these androids sample their stuff. Dried blood. Nineteen days, huh? Okay, camera. I am alive.
letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Fingerprints matching the deceased. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Gossips Weekly. Android sex officially better, right. That kind of thing interests you? Is your android spying on you? Yeah, that's it. And there's something here. Ah, the missing knife. Ball bat does have fingerprints. Hmm. Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Uh huh. We haven't examined the victim, I think. Regular letters from Font Cyber Life Sans. He looks to have been dead for a little while. He had taken some drugs. 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. Okay, so he's fell. He was stabbed there. And they came from the kitchen. was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. The 
there is one more evidence piece we haven't reviewed. What's in here? Okay. Prodigious offering. Okay, we have reviewed all the evidence now. Let's report to... Ah. There's a hatch up there. figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. Um. The android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. No, the chair fell, so of course the victim. The android stabbed the, the android vi stabbed the victim. Was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. I'd say it's pretty self-evident where that trace will lead. a hand that looks to be outside I don't know it's just the, uh, the magazine Bathroom. It's certainly up there, so what am I missing?
there is something there. A ladder was used. Find something to climb. Chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, you sound so matter of fact. Something. I'm going to check something. Say we've found our deviant. There is another outcome here. Guess that probably involves not finding the android. But I think it is a good time to end the episode here. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>